That five-year plan contains five goals and 60 objectives to provide the resources needed for suicide prevention. It's a plan developed through collaboration across the state, which includes leaders at the Boise VA. Uh, it's well known that throughout the United States, 20 veterans die a day by suicide. In 2017, nearly 400 people in Idaho committed suicide. In general, it's estimated that 20% of that number are veterans. The Boise VA currently has 48 different programs and support groups to help veterans. We have everything from an inpatient mental psychiatric unit to um, outpatient mental health. We have over 26 um, therapy groups and support groups. We have outpatient substance abuse programs, inpatient substance abuse programs, and an inpatient uh, post-traumatic stress disorder program. This past spring, the state came up with a five-year plan that included 40 different state and regional stakeholders, including the Boise VA, to address this problem throughout all of Idaho. We are planning to have seven regional collaboratives so that suicide prevention efforts can be more localized to the needs of that specific community. The five-year plan costs the state more than a million dollars every year. In this legislative session, stakeholders are asking for an additional million for a one-year action plan. With the implementation of this plan, we will reduce suicides by 20% by 2025. Mary Pierce, the Boise VA Suicide Prevention Coordinator, says the money is necessary because right now 60% of the current funds go towards manning 24-7 crisis hotlines. If you're a veteran or a family member of a veteran that has a concern, please get a hold of us. There's no wrong door. You can Governor Brad Little has come out in support of the funding of the extra $1 million. However, some lawmakers would like to see if the money already allocated to suicide prevention could get the action plan off the ground. Steve Dent, six on your side.